We need a chariot and litter to bring Yuzarsif. Hurry. Go. What is it? Excellency Haramhab has honored Zavira prison again? We have come to take Yuzarsif. He is free. Pharaoh Amenhotep would like to see him. Do you mean that... we will not see Yuzarsif again? Do you wish him to stay in prison forever? No! No! I do want his freedom, but... The separation is not easy for me. I don't think any of the inmates can bear separation from Yuzasif. The prisoners and guards have only endured Zavira because of him. Very well. Take His Excellency to Excellency Kitaman. Let's see who Yuzarsif is. until my charge is dropped. But the Pharaoh has freed you. Then the Pharaoh had better rehabilitate me first. There is no place for a traitor outside the prison. Don't worry. The Pharaoh has forgiven you. He will support you. I don't need his forgiveness because I did nothing wrong to warrant forgiveness. How can the sagacious user Sif want to be rehabilitated? Ask your lord to investigate the story of women who cut their hands. Although my god is aware of their plot against me. You must take this opportunity. You can rehabilitate yourself outside the prison. Think of your freedom. You have a Menatep's support. Is that not enough? How much support do you think a Menatep will give a traitor? What position will a traitor have in a Menatep's court? Tell Inarus to tell the Pharaoh everything about what Suleika did, and then she can be punished. No, it is not right to mention that. They were kind to me for many years and raised me in comfort. Yes, yes, but threw you in prison for many years. I hope they appreciate your magnanimity. 
What is the story of the women cutting their hands? What women? Just tell the pharaoh what the story of the women was, and the women will be found. Many of the palace residents and people of Egypt still remember that incident. All right then. We shall return empty-handed. Goodbye. 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 I wish you'd gone with them. Told everything to Amenhotep and revealed Zuleika's crime. Don't worry. They will return soon. This is unheard of in Arus. The culprit that we wish to free from prison has set conditions for his release. Yes, Your Highness. He asked Your Highness to investigate the event of the women who cut their hands. Yusasif's imprisonment. It goes back to many years ago. Zuleika, Potiphar's wife, had a crush on her slave, Yusarsif. But His Excellency isn't talking to the lady. I don't know. Why would he want to see her after so many years? I want the names of all the women who cut their hand because of Yuzar Sif. Why do you want their names? Because the Pharaoh has summoned you all. Gather here today all of the women, Zuleikar and Karimama name. It is Pharaoh Amenhotep's order. Why? What has happened? Why are they summoned? What does the Pharaoh want with them? Why has he summoned them? The Pharaoh has decided to free Yuzasif. Yuzasif refuses, unless he is rehabilitated. Amenhotep has summoned those women to know if Yuzasif is guilty or not. I have no doubt he wants to hold a trial. A trial? You never thought Yuzasif's story would be revealed and that one day you'd be tried for your crime? Punish 
punishment for someone who has imprisoned and slandered an innocent man. It is I who will be disgraced. You were disgraced a long time ago, Salika. Take some soldiers and call on all the women Zuleika names. And we will take them to Amenhotep. I am guilty of Zuleika. If Amenhotep asks why I've kept an innocent young man in prison for years, what answer will I have? What's the matter? Dero Amenhotep has summoned Lady Zaleka and other noble women from Zaleka's feast. Which women? The ones who cut their hands. <laughs> what does Pharaoh Amenhotep want so many women for? Stop joking. He seems to want to know why Yuzarsif was imprisoned and what the women have to do with it. If it is known that Yuzar Sif is innocent, he may be released. I hope so. I'd very much like Yuzar Sif to be released and Zaleka and the other women of Thebes to be punished. I hope Lady Zaleka pays for all the cruelty she inflicted upon Yuzar Sif. What is it? Rodaman, the commander of Potiphar's guard, came to my house and has taken my wife away. Why? You shouldn't have allowed it. It is the Pharaoh's order. They arrested my wife and some other women who were at Zaleika's feast many years ago and took them to Amenhotep's palace. Feast? The one concerning you, Sasif? Yes. Perhaps Amenhotep has released you, Sasif, and he has requested the women's arrest for revenge. What can I do to save my wife? Your wife will be freed. Don't you worry. Just go and find out if Yuzasif has been released or not, all right? It's time to worry if Yuzasif is freed. What should we do with him? Mimisabu, why are they taking Lady Zaleka and these women to the palace? I don't know. They all look like. 
like normal women. That's a change. Instead of arresting the poor, they've arrested the aristocrats. Indeed. Instead, it's raining from earth to sky this time. Wait here. This is the third day you have failed to interpret the dream. This is unacceptable. And if a manative asks today for the interpretation, what do you suggest? I reply. Shall I reply that my dream interpreters are only capable of eating and sleeping? And that they are unable to do their job and interpret dreams? I warn you, either you interpret Amenhotep's dream today, or I will kill you before Amenhotep does, and send you to the West! Eminence Ankhma. What do you want? What's the matter? Potiphar has taken Lady Zuleika and other noble women of Thebes to Amenhotep's palace. It seemed he was taking them off to prison, heavily guarded. Did you find out why? I did ask, but nobody knew. Many years ago, an event occurred between you, the noble women of Egypt, and you, Sarsif. I want to know the truth about that event. What happened exactly when you met Yusar Sif? Someone answer. Have you no tongues? One of you, talk. We witness no wickedness or indecency in Yusar Sif. We never saw any sin from you, Sarsif. He is decent. Can one accuse a heavenly angel of indecency or immorality? I want to know who the guilty party was when this event occurred. Did he do no wrong at all? Did he not commit a sin? So Leica must answer. Who was the guilty party at that event? Do you consider you, Sarsif, guilty or not guilty? Well, my decision is to reveal the truth of this event. Therefore, be certain no lie will go unpunished. You witness the unequivocal confessions of these women. Today, the truth has been exposed. And the truth, hidden from some people for many years, has been revealed. In view of the compelling truth, I have no alternative but to bitterly confess it is the truth. I was in love with the chaste Yusar Thief for many years. I wanted to have him. To have a sinful relationship. But he chose to be chaste and rejected me many times. True that you, Sarsif, was your slave, and you had the power to have him. But you are already married, and not entitled to such a sin. And you are a goddess in Amon Temple, and considered Amon's wife. Amon's wives are not allowed such a sin. 
So you are confessing that you were guilty? That you plotted this? And then imprisoned an innocent man? Right. I confess my guilt. And that you, Sarsif, is innocent. Mimisabu. Yes, Excellency Radaman. Will you take this chariot to see Yuzarsif in prison? To Yuzarsif? Of course, in an instant. But why? To tell him that Lady Zuleika and the others have testified to their guilt and to his innocence. That he'll soon be free. When? When will he be free? I don't know. Soon. Hurry. Take Mimisabu to Severa prison and then come back. Go! Were you women really so fascinated that you cut your hands and he paid you no attention? Yes, that is right. We all cut our hands. You thought he is very chaste. He never paid any attention to our beauty. Nor was he deceived by any of our tricks. Such a man is admirable. I have heard many things about him, but I'm not sure I can believe them. I don't believe them. He is human, not a saint. Why did you conspire against him? Why did you incarcerate such a gem? We confess to our guilt. And ask the Pharaoh for his forgiveness. Huh. My forgiveness? You should be asking for you, Sarsifs. You took away many years of his life. You are to blame as well, Potiphar. You kept incarcerated for so long a young man who is superior to all dream interpreters. One who is unique in chastity, and also in decency. I have no explanation about this mistake. I say only. Perhaps prison was the only way to shut the mouths of the slanders. All the same, I know I am also guilty. With your permission, I will now take my leave. I am not feeling well. All right. You may leave. temporary prison of the palace until I decide what to do with them. Let's go. I'm talking to you. Move. What are you waiting for? You can return. Commander Harmov. Yes, my lord. Go to Zafira prison within Arus. And tell Yusar Sif his innocence and decency has been proven to us. 
We will honor him. And appoint him one of our closest friends. Bring him here with utmost respect. I wait impatiently to meet you, Zarsif. Radamon said, Zaleka and other Egyptian women who all conspired against you have confessed to their guilt. <laughs> they exonerated you from any accusation. <laughs> Amenhotep will release you very soon. <laughs> I only wanted Potiphar to know that I had never secretly betrayed him. And Pharaoh Amenhotep to know that Yuzarsif is not a traitor. I wanted them to know that God never allows traitors to reach their goals by deceit. Yuzarsif! How did you resist the Egyptian women and come out Undefeated, hmm? I don't boast, nor consider myself infallible. My carnal soul might force me to do evil deeds like many other people. But my God had mercy on me and saved me from the women's plot. My God, the most merciful, the most compassionate. Greetings to Commander Harama. Greetings to you. We have come to take you, Zarsif. Your condition for release has been seen to. Lady Zaleka and the other women confessed to their guilt and they are now in prison. But I didn't want them to be punished. Pharaoh Amenhotep impatiently awaits meeting you. It'll be hard for us here without you. What'll we do without you? We had forgotten the separation from our family and relatives because of you. When you leave, we will be lonely and friendless once again. You have God in all situations. When you have him beside you, the hardships of prison will become easy for you. I will always visit you. I will not leave you alone. What did Yuzarsif do to get the inmates to love him so much? Yuzarsif was their friend, guide, and sympathizer. Tell Amenhotep the prison is like a forsaken grave without Yuzarsif. Tell him either not to take Yuzarsif away or let us be with him. I will give you some advice. If you listen to it, you'll find peace. Prison is a grave for the living, a house for the crestfallen, a place of construction for friends, and the penitentiary for those who are enemies. Our friends purify their souls with the hardship of prison. They become experienced here. They do not bury themselves here like in a grave. I will visit you shortly. Bye. 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 Bye.
Excellency Yuzarsif. I'm afraid of riding on people's backs. I have come to alleviate their burden, not to be a burden to them. Don't worry, you will not fall down. For one who rides on other people's backs, falling will be his inevitable fate. I would prefer the chariot. Very well. Goodbye, Excellency Yusasif. Ride in my chariot. God be with you. God you too, my God be with you. God be with you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Let's go. Excellency, use our seat, if you will. Bathe and change clothes first. And then we will go to our lord, Amenhotep IV. Of course. I don't want to go to him like this. Who was that? Don't you know him? That's Yuzarsif. He was released from prison on Amenhotep's order. Yuzarsif? <laughs> that is the Egyptian form of Joseph. Yes, that's right. Joseph. Joseph. I finally found him. I found Joseph. <laughs> God, never forgive me. What have I done? Woe on me. I sold a prophet as a slave. Found him. I have found Joseph. Joseph. This is all because of you. You disgraced yourself and now us. I am here because of you, Sarsif. But to me, it is sweet to be blamed because of you, Sarsif. You have disgraced Potiphar, yourself, and now us. You jailed you, Sarsif, yourself, and now us. Akhenaten would have hanged a woman such as you. I am neither ashamed of disgrace, nor sad for being in prison. I can do nothing except ask for your forgiveness. It is all that is left. Do something. You may have forgotten honor. 
but we are reputable. Why don't you talk to the guard? He may ask Potiphar to have us released. You shouldn't worry. None of you will be kept here. I am the guilty one. You will all be freed. Aren't you afraid of being imprisoned forever? Without him, everywhere is a prison. The good thing about here is... I better understand the years of imprisonment I inflicted upon you, Sir Seif. Zavira prison is by far more heinous than here. And I kept him there innocently for more than ten long years. I am guilty. Greetings to the great lady of Egypt. Do you remember? You came here with Potiphar to my father, Amenhotep III. And you put on my neck the gift from the late Amenhotep. were justified in admiring him. He really is beautiful. I've been very eager to meet you since the interpretation of my dream. And I felt guilty since I found out about your innocence and chastity. Why must the great and wise dream interpreter be in prison under my rule? I imprisoned the women of Egypt because of you. I am truly grateful to the Pharaoh for his support. But I don't want the women of Egypt to be punished or imprisoned. Your magnanimity augments your spiritual value to us. But I want them to be punished a little. We will pardon the women of Egypt later. I had heard about you many times since childhood. 
But what I see is far beyond what I heard. Do not embarrass me. I am not worthy of so many compliments. I have been waiting to ask you a question. Excellency Uzarsif, how do you interpret dreams? The Egyptian dream interpreters interpret by chanting incantations and using tools. The knowledge I have was given to me by my god. It is not me who's interpreting. So I heard it correctly. You do not worship Amon or other Egyptian gods. Yes, that's right. I am very pleased to hear that. I respect you even more now. It is laudable that you do not prostrate yourself before various gods. And you are not a follower of Amon Temple. Perhaps you do not know that Pharaoh Amenhotep does not believe in the Temple Gods. I've decided to hold a debate between Yuzarsif and the Temple Priests in the presence of the noblemen of Thebes. I want their inability to interpret my dream to be known to all. Without a doubt, this defeat will enervate the people's belief in Amon. And the other Gods. The power of Amon and the priests in the Temple is based on the people's support. Reducing people's belief in the priests will also reduce Amon's power. In Arus, show Excellency Yuzarsif to his room. Haramab, invite all the noblemen of Thebes to the palace for a grand feast. Certainly, Your Highness. I have invited the priests. 
Dream interpreters. An aristocrats of Thebes. To test a young dream interpreter who claims he can interpret my dream. Today, I want you all to witness if it's true or false. Greetings to the wise pharaoh of Egypt. Despite the long years serving in Potiphar's palace, Yusuf has not yet learned to bow down before the pharaoh of Egypt. How is that? Perhaps to you, who bowed down to many idols. Bowing down is something ordinary. But I have only ever bowed down to one god. I hope his highness does not interpret my not bowing as a token of disrespect. But in the etiquette of the nobleman, it would be considered a great disrespect. Perhaps if, as the high priest said, you knew how to bow, you would have bowed down to the beautiful women of Thebes and not spent years incarcerated. <laughs> Yes, that's right. Yes. But I would like to repeat it one more time. 